Okay, here's the food test for non-reducing sugar. You need test tube rack, three test tubes, you need some cylinders, you need some, again, Benedict solution, hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, and some sucrose solution. Okay, let's add 10 ml for our test control, the water. Then we have our sucrose solution, 10 ml. And we're going to add a few drops of hydrochloric acid in the test control. This one, we don't put any hydrochloric acid, we leave it aside. We're going to take those two test tubes and we put it in the water bath for a few minutes. You put your two test tubes, the test control, and the sucrose or sugar solution in the water bath for a few minutes. While they're cooling down, you have to neutralize the hydrochloric acid, so you need to add a few drops of sodium hydroxide, so it should be 10 drops. And once again, you don't touch that one here. Now it's time to add the Benedict solution. Add a few drops in each test tube. And we take those test tubes, we put them in the water bath for a few minutes. Okay, so we did the Benedict test with non-reducing sugar. As you can see, this is a control with water, so no reaction. Here, this is the test tube with sugar and hydrochloric acid. So at the end, you get a reaction because you broke down the disaccharide into glucose and fructose. And that one is basically sugar, so sucrose, with no hydrochloric acid.